Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ali and we are here with another unboxing. What I have for this video, it is our The Box, a beauty box by Fashion Stuff. And this is the box for November. Like I mentioned before, this one gets to me at the end of the month for whatever reason. And so we finally have it here. For those of you that don't know about this box, this box is $19.99 per month. And you are set to get, I believe, somewhere between $80 to $150 worth of worth of products in here. And you do get full size items. So let me get inside and it's pretty heavy. So I'm really curious to see what's in here because it has really good weight to it. It says three pound priority mail rate. So I don't know if this is what, I, yeah, I think it's maybe about three pounds. It's pretty heavy. So let's see what we have in here. So we can know what's weighing so much on the box. So we have our little card um, talking about the crisis center. And we have our pamphlet with all the items on the inside with a total value for the box. It comes wrapped in your little tissue paper. And I'll start with this one here, which feels pretty heavy. Ooh, okay, so this will be new for me. It is from Millennial Beauty or Beauté. Um, it is Bud Naked a CBD Booty Scrub. So it has, it says it has 50 milligrams of CBD. This one, let me see what it says back here. Um, oh, it doesn't really give you much. It just says exfoliating, hydrating, nourishing, plumping, skin softening, skin renewing. So let's see what the inside looks like. So this is what it looks like, just a glass jar and you have your scrub in here. And the scrub itself is pink. Mm, doesn't really smell like anything but it is filled to the tippy top of the container and it just it's just your regular like sugary type of grain kind of scrub um hopefully we have a little bit more information on the pamphlet about this to see you know what about it or how it helps you i mean aside from exfoliating and doing all of that for your skin but what about the cbd part of it you know helps with whatever it does so first item here next up i'm gonna get this one because it's a pretty big box it is from sutra beauty and it is a rejuvenating hair serum okay i love it when we get um hair serums creams and all that stuff because i i use all of it Oops, i just ripped the box I use all of it because, you know, I like to take care of my hair as much as I can. I hate having dry hair. Oh, fancy. Okay, so this is what our container looks like. It's a frosted glass bottle and we have a chrome metallic lid on the top and we just, we have a pump. And this one just says, on damp hair, apply a small amount of Sutra hair serum directly to hair. If straightening or blow drying, apply serum afterwards to seal split ends and replenish the hair. Recommend to use after every heat application. Ooh, okay. I'm excited about this one. As you guys can tell, I curled my hair this time. Um, so this would have came in really handy after I finished doing this. But it's really good to have on my vanity. So item number two, pretty good um let's go see what else we have in here here we have something from fig and yarrow apothecary orange blossom lavender complexion water a hydrating skin toner with a blend of pure essential oils and herbal extracts for superlative skin nourishment oh and this is a glass bottle too okay so far i think they've been doing pretty good um let me see if i can sm smell it Ooh, that smells really good you can smell the orange blossom oh, it smells so good i'm excited to try this one out i can't stop smelling it. it smells really really good this is what our bottle looks like and as you guys saw this is just a little spray pump so item number three 
what else do we have in here what is this we have something from lorella a liquid lipstick in the shade ari so let me take it out this is their packaging i've never heard of this brand before so let's see what this packaging looks like on the inside so it looks like we have a nude liquid lipstick that is the packaging and we have a little dope foot applicator let's swatch it okay so that is the color there honestly i don't think this is my shade of nude so i don't know maybe or maybe if i put a lip gloss on top or i mean you can always uh layer on the lipsticks and make your own color you know so i'm probably gonna end up you know make try to make a different color out of this one or use it with other ones to change them up a little bit so i mean it's not completely bad that this is not my my shade of nude because you can always do more with it so we that's our fourth item and i think we are actually down to our last one and we have an eyeshadow palette from cara beauty this is the midnight garden okay Let's see what kind of shades midnight garden comes with oh okay so the colors in here they are different they're colorful but we have some some nice shades these are the colors in the palette we have like straight up glitters these look like they're like glitters both of these and then we have um some metallics we have some mattes we have um i think that's called satin where there's like the color and then you have like a little bit of a glitter inside so we have a little bit of everything and same thing with the colors we have brights we have neutrals we have you know darker tones we have you know bright metallic ones so there let me roll up my sleeve so you guys can see some swatches i'm gonna do just a few of each one so i'm gonna do this one here so you guys can see the color so that is it on my finger and whoa that is pigmented that is really pigmented i'm gonna grab a metallic Ooh, that's really pretty that is it here on my finger now let me put it on my arm this one is not super pigmented but it is pretty that it is um up next i'll grab this darker one this dark brown whoa their mattes have a lot of color so a little bit patchy not even but when you rub it back and forth it does even out a lot more than when you first put it down now let me grab a sparkly whoa that one is so nice let me put it here oh well uh, once you put it on the skin it doesn't stick too much i wonder i think this one will look nicer if you first put some primer down so it can have a little bit more of a sticky base um and i think that will stick on a little bit better better like that the last one i'm gonna do is this bluish purplish color let's see Ooh. i mean i see i don't see myself wearing like this color or this color because they are bright they are out there but like these other ones are a little bit more wearable for myself at least so those will probably be the colors that i will wear the most so but they do have a lot of payoff and i don't know how it'll be as far as like the fallout as you're putting them on your eyes but i can tell you they are really really pretty so that was the last item from the box now let me get my little pamphlet here and see what the retail values prices are <laughs> So the first one is this one here from Sutra Rejuvenating Hair Serum. Retail value for this one is $45. This Midnight Oh, that almost went all the way back. This Midnight Garden Shadow Palette from Cara Beauty is $18. Not bad. I mean, what I tried here wasn't too bad, so for $18, I think it's right now I think it's worth the price. I still have to try it on my face, but right now I think that's worth the $18. Then we have from Fig and Yarrow, the Orange Blossom Lavender Complexion Water is $34. Then 
Then we have the CBD scrub, but naked. Um, the CBD sugar scrub and bud naked um, from Millennial Beauty. This one is $29. So let me see, this one says, um, smooth and refine your skin with the first ever CBD infused body scrub. This sugar scrub is packed with botanicals to help exfoliate, refine, and smooth the skin. Use our sugar scrub as pre-cleanse in the shower or after you cleanse to reap all the benefits of the CBD and clean botanicals. Made to help, there it is, made to help reduce stretch marks and aid in circular production as well as help combat breakouts so that is where the cbd comes into play and that's the kind of help that it gives your skin and then the very last item from lorella the liquid matte lipstick this one retails for ten dollars so the total price of the box is 136 dollars they give you the value right there so you don't have to be thinking and doing the math they give you the value right there. So $136 value, one, a $136 value inside the box. So honestly, I think it was worth the $20 that I paid for the box. They are lesser known brands, but a lot of the times they can perform just as well as the most common and well-known brands. So I don't knock it off just because I don't know the brands, but I find this to be a really good way to get to know different brands rather than just sticking with, you know, all the high-end luxury or whatever, all of the ones that everybody knows. So I think this is a really good box to try new brands out, but let me know what you guys think down below. That is all for me for today. Those are the items from my box. Let me know what you guys think. I will be back with another video really soon and I hope I will see you guys back here next time. So I am done and bye. Bye. Wait.